Hello and welcome to the Neo Streams Tutorials. Today we're going to show you on how to stream from Virtual DJ. As you can see here, this is the basic Virtual DJ version 6 interface. Now for those of you that might have version 5, it will look just like this. Keep in mind both versions act in the exact same way and what you'll be paying attention to are these four tabs here at, and particularly the last tab, record. Uh, I'll switch back over to the version 6 interface here just because I personally like it better. Um, over here you click on the record tab. Okay. Then you see these options over here. You go to broadcast and config. Now an explanation from these options here. You have master, master and mic, and line in. Master only streams your output from the dual decks, decks A and B here. Master and mic will stream both your decks A and B from the, the computer internally and your sound card driver, which it might be a USB mic, it might be a, a standard microphone plugged into your uh, microphone port. Um, just select your microphone driver right there now keep in mind there are no microphone controls inside the interface so you must have a way to externally control your uh, your microphone your volumes your uh, uh, mutes um, generally all you need to do is be able to uh, mute your microphone so uh, uh, if you have an external mute button then uh, that's fantastic. Your line in, however, <clears throat> will ignore decks A and B internally in the computer, and it will only stream what is coming through a sound card. This is perfect for anybody that uses an external mixer or an external source. Um, any type of audio that's coming through your, uh, your mixer will be streamed on the output. Um, so most of you would be selecting master and microphone, or if you don't have a microphone, then just master. Um, you can choose to auto start the stream by clicking this, and that auto starts it as soon as you start up, uh, your virtual DJ interface. Your format, you select Shoutcast MP3. And you have to make sure you have the lame encoder installed. It will be in your Virtual DJ Plugins folder. If you don't have this, then go to Google, search for the LAME encoder, and place that file, lameenc.dll, into your Plugins folder in Virtual DJ. Um, your bitrate can go as low as 24 to 320. NeoStreams supports up to 192. I generally stream at about 128. Um, It'll default to broadcast from my own computer. You do not want this. You want to broadcast to a radio server. And as you can see, I've already got my information entered here. Your server is your server name that's given to you upon signing up. Um, mine would be pink. Yours, yours might be rock, cyan, um, white, uh, any one of those. <clears throat> so you enter that information in right here. You enter in your port port information here. Um, your name, uh, this can be anything, can be a radio station name, your name, um, that's broadcasted in the name field of your Shopcast server. Um, and then make sure you type your password or copy and paste it as it is given. These are case sensitive. And you can enter in your information your your genre information, rock, various, you know, whatever, whatever you'd like, um, and then click OK. Now, once you do that, you click the Start Recording button, and it says Broadcasting on your server name, and it gives you a total time. This is about all the information that you have to tell that you're broadcasting. Um, it doesn't have uh, broadcast view meters or... Um, anything fancy like that. It's a very simple interface. And as long as you're saying broadcasting, 
and your total time is counting up, then you are connected and you're ready to stream. So thank you for uh, watching the Shoutcast tutorial on Virtual DJ, and thank you for choosing Near Streams.